unconsciously, you need to understand this, you can incubate a lot of either negative things or positive things in sleep. Either pleasantness or unpleasantness, you can incubate very effectively uninterrupted in sleep. You can also incubate it in the day, but there are so many interruptions, it doesn't happen very efficiently. But if you have a tendency to go to bed in a certain way and you wake up in the morning really nasty for simply no reason, that means you are incubating things in the night very efficiently. Bad eggs. This is not just about psychological disturbances, it can cause major physiological problems over a period of time. It's, it's important that you eliminate these things from your life. So, before you go to bed in the night, there are certain things that you need to take care of. It's best if you're eating meat and other kinds of meals, you eat at least three to four hours before you go to bed. The digestion is over. Before going to bed, drink a certain amount of water and go to bed. You will see it gets taken care of just like this. One simple thing can be just a shower, always to shower before you go to bed, it'll make a lot of difference. In this weather, maybe cold showers are difficult, so you go for lukewarm showers, don't go for hot showers in the night, go for lukewarm showers, it makes you alert. So you will think, oh, I cannot sleep. It doesn't matter, you will sleep fifteen, twenty minutes or half an hour later, but you will sleep better because it will take away certain things. When you shower, it is not just the dirt on the skin that you're taking away. Have you noticed if you're very tense and anxious, whatever, just a shower, you came out and feels like almost the burden has been taken away from you? Have you not noticed this? So it's not just about washing the skin, a whole lot of things happen when water flows over your body. This shower is a very rudimentary bhuti shuddhi because over seventy percent of your body is actually water. If you run water over it, a certain purification happens which is beyond cleaning the skin. One more thing if you want to do, you just light an organic oil lamp, a cotton wick, some oil, any, any organic oil with a cotton wick just burn a little lamp somewhere in the room where you sleep. You will see these things will completely disappear. If you can bring in a chant or there are nightly practices, yogic practices, before you go to bed, sit on your bed and do this practice. Do you know, in about… if you live for about sixty years, you're… on an average most human beings are eating anywhere between eleven hundred to fourteen hundred tons of food. So that means even what you think is my body is not this, it's changing every day. New input is happening and old things are going away. So fourteen hundred tons, you don't have to carry that much of weight right now. So obviously what you have as a body right now is just a transient amount of food and soil, isn't it? Hello? So what you think is mine also is not it, it is just all the time changing. Tonight before you go to bed, spend at least twelve, fifteen minutes reminding yourself, you're neither this body nor this mind. Just lie down and just remind yourself, this body is not really you. It is mine right now for use, but it's not really me. Just… if you're not able to do it, just link it to your breath. Inhalation, I'm not the body. Exhalation, I'm not even the mind. Just lie down for twelve minutes and do it till the last moment till you fall asleep. This is something you must notice.